Hi guys, this is me Ninja One One here, and today I'm here with another video. Today an opening video. I know I haven't posted in the last month and a few weeks. It's because my computers broke down, and I just got a new one. And right now I'm in the process of still working it, so that's why I've just haven't made any videos since that technical issues. And I have a bunch of videos on my camera and stuff that I haven't uploaded yet. so hopefully you guys will see that in the company coming weeks months whatever right now it is President's Day weekend so ho hopefully by the time you guys see this video it will be around that weekend and yeah no uh, four day weekend for me this weekend and decided to pick up some stuff and had some stuff that's been sitting around for a few weeks that I've been wanting to open First off, I went to Barnes & Noble this week and picked up Yu-Gi-Oh! Zeal Volume 4. Yeah, this is kind of old, per se, it's a month, released last month. Just got this this week, just had the chance to, so got it with a coupon. And, and yeah, a few weeks ago I got the Shining Jump pack number one to open up. I got this from pre-order from December and picked it up and it's kinda sick during the few weeks I picked these up so I thought that it would open both these up when I got better which is right now and yeah I'm just gonna open both of these up in this video might be a rather long video for all you guys watching since it's already it's almost two minutes and yeah you get a zero volume four I've been thinking about trying to get Every Yu-Gi-Oh volume from the original to the Yu-Gi-Oh Duelist, Yu-Gi-Oh GX, Millennium World, in the 5Ds and the Seal. So, so far I've completed all of Yu-Gi-Oh R manga, one times one through five. So, maybe in the next coming years I'll be able to get more of these and complete a whole set of these because. Yu-Gi-Oh! is pretty awesome. And I know other people like collecting other series, but I want to collect Yu-Gi-Oh! So, it took half a minute to get this off. But, whatever. On the cover, there's Shark and, uh, I'm not here that is, but, yeah, on the back, you guys see. And, get to the card. So it's a ultra rare number 47 Nightmare Shark. Looks pretty awesome. Let's get this open. So Yu-Gi-Oh! Zeal is coming to an end, which some people are so fortunate to me, it's alright. I didn't really watch. I started watching it at the beginning, but I don't know. I wasn't really excited when I first heard of it since I was like oh there's more Yu-Gi-Oh but yeah it's become what it has and yeah here's the card number 47 Nightmare Shark the effect yeah camera should get a new one but in due time I guess two level 3 monsters in this card special summon you can attach one level 3 water monster from your hand or your side of the field to discard as an XYZ material. Once per turn, you can detach one XYZ material from this card and target one water monster you control. This turn, your opponent cannot. I mean, this monster can attack your opponent directly. Also, other monsters cannot attack, so it's all right. And on the news of Yu-Gi-Oh! Zeo ending, it's kind of sad, but had to go eventually. For Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc Five, I'm excited for it. As, as now, it looks already better than Zeal, which is pretty awesome. But, more importantly, I kind of was expecting them to end Yu-Gi-Oh. Not saying that it's negative, but just, it's been around so long, and it's, I don't want it to become like Pokemon, where it just goes on non-stop. And, yeah, the Shiny Jump Hack one. Get this open. I got it from Slackers, 1999. I was surprised that they actually had this. Since, since they actually had no idea about this thing going on when I went there to pre-order it. 
And they said they would call me back if they got it. And they did a month later. So, it's really happy to get this. But I really feel like they should just include this for every subscriber instead of making us pay $20 for it, in my opinion. So, as you can see here, three month digital subscription. What's that? I don't really like digital subscription, honestly. And activate it. I'm probably gonna do that later. And get a chance to win Slifer. So cool. I already have a Slifer already, but it doesn't hurt to get more. Because it is definitely good <laughs> profit to sell them. Still, I think they're like still pretty expensive. And some manga, like old days. And yeah, let's see. Some combos, I guess. For that new recent theme support. And yeah, it's talking about advantages of being subscribed to Challenge Up and <laughs> activate for a chance to win. Uh, before looking at that, here back here is Battle Pack. Round 2 War of the Giants. Pretty cool. I'm not going to get any myself, but definitely awesome and sounds profitable from what I've seen so far of it. Let's get this off and. Huh. Some of this. And yeah, I know they did uh, one thing the Challenge Up Your Book. 13 for what was it number 13 gaming puppet um, number f number 40 gaming puppet with strings or yeah one of those gaming puppets yeah I didn't open that since I was actually away on a cruise that week but pretty awesome that he did that and here's the card I didn't really think much of it first I was like uh so whatever but if you control an archery for archfiend card you can special summon this card from your hand but it cannot attack this turn. You can only special summon Archfiend Commander once per turn this way. When special summoned this way, target one Archfiend card you control. Destroy that target. This card, when this card is tribute summoned, you can target one level 6 Archfiend monster in your graveyard. Special summon that target and face up defense position. So, yeah, I didn't really think too much of this card. But, it is what it is. And, yeah, the next subscription for this. Uh, Shine Jump Alpha is Blue Eyes White Dragon. A lot of people dislike it, but I think it's pretty cool that they're finally bringing that over. And maybe it's a chance for Magic Magic Magician Girl. A lot of people don't like Blue Eyes since it's un not really unplayable, which mainly for collectors, which like me, I'm pretty happy for. But hopefully next time they'll come up with a promo will everyone, collectors and players alike, will enjoy. And yes. Speaking of Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc-V, hopefully it turns out to be better than Zeal, but who knows. And anyways, this is me, Ninja Mom 101. Hopefully you guys subscribe for more videos. I don't know when I'm going <laughs> to upload more videos and when this video is going to uh, be uploaded, but hopefully you guys still stay subscribed for more videos. And yeah, this is me, Ninja Mom 101, and I'll see you guys later and bye.